Now let's talk about venting your portable air conditioner. All portable ACs have to be vented, since they naturally remove warm air and excess moisture from your space. In fact, since most portable ACs are vented through a window, all models come with a window kit for easy installation. Portable ACs use either a single or dual hose ventilation system. Our customers often ask if a single or dual hose model is right for them. It's really a matter of preference, but there are some slight differences in their designs. Single hose ACs work like this. They draw in the air from inside your room, cool it, and then release it back into your space. During this process, warm air and excess moisture are created, which is ventilated outside through the exhaust hose. Some of the air that's drawn into the unit is also used to cool the AC's internal parts before being exhausted outside. Dual hose models also use the air inside your space to cool your room, but they also draw in air from outside, which is what they use to cool the AC's internal parts. This air is exhausted out the second hose. Since dual hose models don't rely on air inside your space for this job, they're slightly more efficient. Less of your room's air is required for them to operate, so it's unlikely that warm air from adjoining rooms will seep in and try to replace the lost air. Unfortunately, this can happen with single hose models, and the AC has to work even harder to cool the room so it takes longer. There are benefits to single hose ACs though. They use less energy during operation, and they tend to be cheaper than dual hose models. And remember, any dual hose model can be changed to a single hose model simply by removing the intake hose. In addition to windows, select models can also be vented through sliding glass doors, walls, or even drop ceilings. Drop ceilings are typically only used when cooling server rooms or other rooms without windows. If you choose this option, or vent your AC into another room through a wall, make sure that it's a large unused space because warm air and excess moisture will be exhausted into it. Consider your space and personal preference, and then decide which type of portable AC is right for you. In our next video, we'll talk about your different draining options for portable ACs. And I'll answer a question we get all the time, how often do I need to drain my portable AC? See you next time.